Over here! Over here! Over here! Over here! Uh, over here. You went over there, over there. Thank you! The a radical teacher. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, there. Uh, basically, hi there, Ryan. Hi hey, there, hey. Jay. Hi there, Silver. Hi. I'm having a wonderful time, by the way. And you know, um, I have a question because get a load of this. I always wanted to go ask about um, what was it like working with Dean Bristow and Mike Pollock? Uh, for you, Ryan, uh, Dean Bristow, aka uh, Eggman and Sonic Adventures, uh, one until the heroes right. stage, and for you, Mike Pollock. Yeah, I'll go first because I have the mic. Um, <laughs> Dean Bristow, rest in peace, Dean. Uh, one of the kindest guys. Um, just one of those guys, similar to Mike Pollock, who's just done everything. And, uh, and I was kind of new in the voiceover scene, and he had been in it a long, long time. He had been doing it for decades when I met him. And um, Dean actually, this is kind of interesting about Dean, is that he... Uh, grew up in the Midwest, and he ended up being a judge for aspiring voiceover artists. Whoa. And he one time was judging a talent show at a high school in Kettering, Ohio, and he was judging uh, people doing talents, and this one young lady got up and did this voice, and he was like, yeah, she's pretty good. And that voice was Nancy Cartwright. And she was doing the voice of Bart Simpson. But she had not been cast as Bart Simpson. There was no Bart Simpson. But, so, but he met her when she was just an aspiring voiceover actress. And he was like, she's really talented. She should you know, be on a 30-year cartoon playing a little boy you know, at some point. <laughs> but Dean was just so kind. He was so kind. And he always gave it his all. Um, Dean and I actually got to be in the booth together once when we were doing this game called Blue Stinger. A couple people have mentioned Blue Stinger. And so I got to sit as close as Pete and I are now and watch Dean do his thing for Blue Stinger. And um, man, he was, he was just a force to be reckoned with. What a great guy. And just very, very, um, just giving me pointers about things and just passing on knowledge. Uh, just the sweetest guy, sweetest guy. So sorry he's gone. You know, he had, for those of you who don't miss- know, he had a heart attack, passed away tragically one day. Um, but yeah, fantastic guy. Thank you. I don't think it would be any surprise to any of you that Mike Pollock is one of the most talented human beings that I've ever seen. Yeah! Um, not only that, but like as nice of a human as they come, uh, and I just a, a consummate professional. So every time I've been around him, whether it's just hanging out and, and having a beer at SonicCon or watching him in the booth or uh, we, we did something uh, for actually uh, Greg who's here, Greg Hahn who's here uh, him and his writing partner uh, wrote, uh, did a cartoon and me and, uh, and Mike and Colleen O'Shaughnessy did some voices for it and when, when Mike brings it you don't feel like you're very good because that guy is so good uh, he's just one of the most amazing people and it was an honor to work with him Thank you so much! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for turning and facing this way for so long. We appreciate you, and thank you. And uh, Pete, thanks for having me up here. Oh, Ryan, thank you for joining. I'm so glad you said yes. Uh, Guys, we're over there. I know you know that, but please come and see us. We are the goons uh, in the corner. Yeah, and enjoy the rest of your day. Josh, thank you so much, man. Thank you, guys! Thank you, Bernie. All, all right, and um, in Hall A, we have the Belated Productions panel going on. For anyone going over there, that's going to be hosted with Kevin and 